Testing, okay, great. Hi, everybody. It's so great to see everyone. Thanks for being here on a very random weather day. It's like really nice now. Um, so it'll be really pretty. I think these windows are amazing to see at the sunset and everything. So I'm Katie, I'm so glad that you're here. Um, I'm introducing myself tonight, so most of you already know who I am, and if you don't, and maybe you just heard the announcement at church, this is actually my church, I'm a member here, and if um, anybody doesn't know about the church, um, there's like plenty of information about it, it's pretty, it's a pretty cool place to be, um, and it's, yeah, I couldn't think of a better place to have a concert like this, um, that'll be a mixture of a couple sound bath experiences that will start with one of those, and then I'll be singing all of my own original songs, not all of them, some of them. Um, and then we'll have kind of a sound bath part two and a couple more songs. So yes, if you want to silence your phones, it's really fine if you don't silence them. But if you want to, I always need the reminder at the beginning of concert experience. So, um, so does anybody not know what a sound bath is? It's okay to out yourself that you don't know. Okay, you're like not sure. I don't know. I think it's that. Right. Um, so, so I... Uh, for, for those of you who don't know, my background is in therapy. I'm a marriage and family therapist, but a couple years ago I stopped practicing to start my, um, my own business doing mindfulness workshops and programming. And um, around that time as well, I started attending sound baths, and I had never heard of them before either. I don't even know how I found one. But it's really this beautiful meditative tool that um, there, there's nothing you have to do for it. Um, and we have lots of room, and it's carpeted, so if you even want to lay down, that's totally fine. Um, but the idea of a sound bath is there are all these different um, overtone types of sounds that you'll hear. Um, I have a set of crystal, quartz crystal singing bowls, they're called, and they have all different notes in the C scale, so um, from low C to high C, if you're a musician, and I can play each one on its own, or I can play them together and make harmonies, um, but it's really um, a relaxing, ambient type of sound that happens, um, and it can be really conducive to landing in the present moment. Um, and as somebody who's anxiously temperamented, which I'll tell you a lot more about <laughs> as, I, as you journey through some of my songs with me tonight, um, but I don't do well always at silent seated meditation. It kind of ups my anxiety sometimes even. Um, and that's okay, we need to do hard things as Glennon Doyle says sometimes, right? But um, I really enjoy the options that a sound bath provides to me because I can shift my attention from my breathing to the sounds, to my thoughts, to my feelings, to my body sensations, to the ambient sounds around. Uh, and back again. So it's really a tool to use to play with aspects of your present moment experience. So there is nothing you're supposed to do. You don't have to sit like a yogi or anything. Um, you just, you, you're just being. And we don't really do that a lot in our culture. Um, so I really invite you to soak that in. Um, and I wanted to start with a sound bath. Well, it'll be about 10 minutes or so um, so that you can just land here. It's a Friday. Everybody made it through their week. Um, they're going into the weekend. And maybe it's been a hell of a week to get here. I don't know. Everybody's going through different things. Um, and now we can just all arrive together in this present moment. So enjoy.
There are some of my friends here from First Community Church. I spent some of my growing up years there. And this is a song that I wrote as a commission song for their Spiritual Life and Learning Center, which used to be called the Burkhart Center. Um, but when they changed the name, they wanted a song to sort of um, commemorate that. And that was a couple falls ago, I think a fall of 22. And so they asked members of their community to share um, words or phrases that aligned or that reflected what the mission of the space was. And this is a space that's sort of kind of a, a spiritual third space, right? It's not necessarily within the auspices of the general church, the Christian church. Um, it's, it's more for spiritual seekers um, who maybe don't fit in um, a, a box as much um, as people who may be more inclined to attend um, the regular church services. So um, I love that and I don't like to fit in boxes <laughs> so I was like this is great I vibe with this and what came out was this beautiful um, collection of their words and phrases into this song that actually is a wonderful welcome song um, and it really um, I, I love to sing it as sort of a, a way to consecrate or commemorate um, a place um, and whose purpose is to be the sacred space where we can gather um, in love. And, and so I wanted to play that first to set the tone for tonight. So this is called A Place of Love. You can get in the guitar. I don't think we're getting the guitar yet. No worries, we work and we're just figuring out. We're also live streaming this, so I want to make sure that people hear it too, that um, want to tune in that way. So I'm just going to give it a moment to... Is that... I think that's the difference that I hear from my end. Yeah? Okay, great. <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Um, those of you who are, are working on the sound tonight, I really appreciate it. I got here early and helped set everything up and helped mic the, the sound bath as well, so I appreciate it. This is a sacred space for your body, heart, and mind to question and to seek and embrace what you will find. Here your soul can grow, stretch its wings out free. There's no separation between you and between me. This is a place of love that affirms all living things. We welcome everyone, we have each a song to sing. Each on our own path. We all walk as one, and when we realize this, we shine brighter than the sun. So let's burn the flame together through calm and stormy weather, with openness and curiosity, with compassion as a mission. This is what we're wishing for, and wishes can become reality. When I love you and you see love in me, every day is new, and we try again. We grow. Friend, 
This is a sacred space for your body, heart, and mind to question and to seek and see with more than eyes. Hear your soul is safe to doubt and play and sing. There is no separation between us and everything. So let's burn the flame together through calm and stormy weather with openness and curiosity with compassion as our mission peace is what we're wishing for and wishes can become reality when I love you other we are free thank you so much so um i was who's not inspired by Taylor Swift. I was inspired by her a little bit um, in the sense of thinking in eras. <laughs> so, um, so this is um, a song that's sort of representative of the heartbreak era of my life. <laughs> um, it was a long era, and <laughs> but it ended well, um, so no worries. Um, but I wrote this song uh, about a place that was very meaningful to this sort of like magical love story that I had very early in my 20s. And it, uh, a lot of it took place in this um, kind of beautiful, natural setting. Um, and, and we worked together and it was just like beautiful, right? Until it wasn't and then it sucked really hard. And then um, later on, several years later, I went back to that same place and this is the first of maybe several Disney references that I will do tonight. Um, you know, like on the Haunted Mansion ride, you know, Deb, the Bosners know, they're Disney fans. Um, like when it's the part where they're in the, um, like the ballroom area, right, and all the little like hologram ghosts are dancing around and swinging on the chandeliers. Um, it's kind of what it felt like going back to this place. Um, it sort of felt like this ghost town um, because I was just like seeing like, we were over there and then we were over there and then we did this and, um, and, and it was just, I couldn't see the, this beautiful place for anything except that. Um, and it, it was really kind of cruddy because I, I loved the, that place um, and I wanted to sort of reclaim it. And so um, at, at, towards the end of the song, there's this evolution of, um, you know, the, the um, protagonist, <laughs> me, um, realizes that, um, <laughs> that actually you can rewrite the narrative, right? You can shift your perspective, you can write a new story. Um, and it's really hard sometimes, it requires a lot of work, um, but it's powerful when you realize you can transcend that and then sort of reclaim um, this, um, this piece of the world that you sort of thought could only be, you know, related to this one tiny part of your life, um, but it can be something bigger and different now. Um, and, you know, I can learn to love again, um, as it says at the end of the song. So this is called Ghost Town, and this is from um, my 2020 album. Um, it did really well because it came out at the beginning of the pandemic in March 2020. So I sold like three copies. We still have some. But nobody buys CDs now anyway, um, so I'm not taking it personally. Um, but uh, this, I recorded this at Vaughn Music Studios, and I know um, we have someone who works there who is my former choir teacher, so it's so amazing, Laura, that you're here. Um, and Vaughn is a, an awesome place to record at, um, so I got to do it with um, my friend Kurt, who is an amazing musician and arranger, and um, got a couple other friends to play on it. So. The, all the things I'm doing tonight, you just have to imagine that there is all this arranging going on. And if you want to actually listen to what that sounds like, then you can um, listen on streaming, um, if you're one of those new agey people, or on a CD player, because I have CDs of Shine, and then my EP as well. So here's Ghost Town. <laughs> I know this place like 
like the back of my hand I have it mapped out in my mind It's been a decade, maybe more like a dozen years But when I'm here, I'm back in time You were like a siren song that called me to your shore My ship was bound by your gravity Even though you called for someone else instead I still held on to hope that you'd choose me But it's like a ghost town in this place and in my heart You cleared out as fast as you came in I walk past your relics all around me and I sigh As you hold me captive again and as I walk I hear the birds and see the trees and I breathe in that sacred air I've always wanted to return so here I am and though you're gone you're everywhere now it's like a ghost town You cleared out as fast as you came in Now here I stand with dusty memories strewn about As I walk the lonesome path of where we've been I just want to live again It was worth a try to see if I could Without you, how did I do? Did I pull through? Well, I'm standing here now under skies so blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I know it's a ghost town, only if I make it so. I choose what. Thank you. And I did. And it's my husband. He's at the back taking pictures. <laughs> All right. So moving on to, well, back, forward, sideways, um, maybe around the same time. Um, welcome to my Christian era. <laughs> Um, it was a long era, too, um, and it doesn't have to be either or, also, um, but I, I grew up at First Community Church, and I, <clears throat> I really found that I loved writing songs that helped me connect with the something greater than myself, spirit or whatever, and at that time, I labeled it as God and Jesus, um, and I wrote some songs, and some of those songs landed on my senior thesis for high school, which was an album, yeah, senior thesis, um, <laughs> and, and I don't really play a lot of those songs anymore because they don't really reflect where I am in my um, journey anymore. Um, but I was like looking back at them, and um, my friend Jody said that she still listens to that. Um, sanctuary, it's not sanctuary, Jody, it's meditation. Okay, is that all right? I'm so sorry. This is not, you, I, I'm not taking requests. Um, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> and I have ro live room for no spontaneity here. My anxiety can't handle it. Um, so, so meditation was a song that I was like, well, I like the name of that because right now I do a lot of mindfulness coaching and meditation stuff. Um, and interesting that I wrote this song called Meditation when I was like, 17 years old, um, and I was like listening to the lyrics again as I was singing it, I was listening to myself sing it, and I realized that when I sing, I'm meditating on your word. I'm so happy for who I am. Um, you know, it's sometimes when I feel so lost, I just have to remember that like um, I, I have access to you, and the you I was talking about then was Jesus and God, but the you that I feel connected to now when I sing it is my higher self, my inner wisdom, my inner mentor, as my friend Mary Coleman says. Um, and it just brought me this new meaning to this song. So however it frames itself in your mind and in your heart, that's lovely. Um, I just wanted to share that with you because sometimes songs do that, right? Um, we, the ones we listen to, um, we can listen to them at a very different place in our journey and we can get something new from it. Um, you know, and I, apparently can do that even with my own songs, which is just really kind of a cool rediscovery. So I'm glad to be able to sing this song today called Meditation. There are so many times I think I've lost my mind And I feel so afraid I'm several steps behind When I feel every door Is closing on my face And I'm the only one Who doesn't have a place I stop my world from turning And take a look around I wonder why it's peaceful And then I know I've found one thing that I live for, but for God I have. So I'll meditate now for you. I'm meditating on your word. I'm so happy for who I am. I feel like a dog. I've cleaned out all the cobwebs from my mind I feel clear and clean now No more shadows brushing at my side No longer will I feel fear Cause I'm meditating on your You're in my heart and in my soul I'm high as a bird soaring up among the clouds And you've made my life so full And now all those dreams can be achieved I can breathe in
So this next song um, is from the same album as I played for you, from the album that Ghost Town was on. This is Shine, and this is the, I love using this word, the titular song. That means the same as the album title. It's fine, I just like using that word. That was for me. Um, and so this song, if I could pick any song that would be sort of like my little calling card or like, this is really what I believe. This is where I think it's at, right? Um, is, you know, how, how to even encapsulate my belief system now, I don't know. Um, basically, I think that there's usually, most of the time, pretty much always, something to be grateful for and most of the time, pretty much always, a kindness that we can give. So that's what this song's about. And that's why I think my religion is. <laughs> if it's good enough for the Dalai Lama, because I think he said that too, then it's good enough for me. <laughs> Yesterday's gone and tomorrow will soon be Now is the moment I prize This here, here, this now Is the time for us all To rise up with peace in our hearts and with love May we lean into them all Moments of blue skies, of thunder and lightning Every sunrise and night fall All we have is now It's the time for us all To rise up with peace in our hearts to find nowadays I know but you have the choice to let your voice speak from your soul everyday joys can be ours for the taking no one can take that away you have a choice to come into the sunlight and live each moment that way. Right here, right now is the time for us all to climb to the How's everybody doing? Good. It's so good. I'm not looking at directly at you <laughs> because I wouldn't be able to get through because I would just smile and then I would feel nostalgic and then I wouldn't be present. I would be thinking about all of the fun times we had or just the bond we have or if I've never met you, I just let, I think that you're lovely because you are here like spending a Friday night just in like a little sacred space listening to music and I think that's lovely. So I would love to make eye contact with you all and I will save that for the end. 
and after, because it really distracts me and makes me super anxious. And speaking of that, we've now entered the part of the program where I talk about my anxiety more. Um, <laughs> so this I like to call um, the dark night of the soul era. So if you need to leave, leave now. Yes, Dana. <laughs> just say it. Um, and even the dark night of the soul era for me sounds pretty. I just uh, sound similar to a Disney princess no matter what I sing, so you'll just have to accept that. But I'm now I'm really melancholy in these songs. <laughs> Um, and so I, I made um, this EP, which is a short album, for those of you not in the biz. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not either. Um, so it's, it's just a few songs, and I did it in um, COVID, and I recorded it at my friend Kurt Smith's home studio, Roundstone Studios, and it was um, a wonderful escape from the monotony and terribleness that COVID pandemic time was um, because in January 2020, my dad passed away from complications related to alcoholism. That's, that was a major bummer. <laughs> and, uh, and then in March 2020, the world shut down. So I'm so grateful that he passed before all of that. I know some of us weren't as lucky and loved ones were in places that we couldn't access um, and that um, this is just a different level of um, suckiness excuse me, and a um, small child nearby. But I, um, to escape the suckiness, I would sometimes, some people might call it dissociate, I say daydream, um, <laughs> and, and I would um, look out the window when I was like in my little room because my family was just like, you know, we were with each other all the time, right? And I'm a therapist, so I'm like with a client in one little room, and I come out, and my kids are like, can I have a snack? And then, you know, help me with my homework, and then my husband's there trying to do stuff, and I was like, oh, for the love. Um, and so I was like looking out the window, and I just wanted to go away, not like in a suicidal sense, been there also passively, um, but in a sense of like, can I just escape into like a Disney version of Walden Pond? Because Henry David Thoreau, I think that he was a little more scrappy than I am. And so like, I think he like built a cabin, lived there for two years by himself. He probably didn't have a flushing toilet or hot water or anything. But in my version, I'm like Snow White and there's like woodland creatures singing with me. Um, and so that's my happy place that I go to sometimes still when I just kind of need to escape from it all. So maybe you have your own version of Walden, um, but this is mine. I need to find something for myself A vision of peace for me That no one else can touch or reach Unless I tell them where to go Cause they don't know I'll be sitting by water lilies at the pond Listening to the birds sing to my blues are gone And all the songs that linger on are yellow just for me They're just for me Leaves of trees form the canopy of the bed I sleep in every night the sunrise sky lighting up my eyes every morning tells the story of Walden are you a fairy tale I can fall into an imaginary place to be newly formed erase the past and be reborn as someone I believe in you. The parts of life that broke my heart feel like a memory that I forget. And sunrise skies cause my tears to dry. When I settle down, my rest is found in Walden.
just for me. Thank you. So um, I'm going to play a couple songs that I haven't ever played out before. <laughs> and I like doing that as a fun experiment to see how my anxiety fares in those scenarios. Um, but this song, uh, I wanted to sort of write um, a tongue-in-cheek song about um, like how it is when I go away um, emotionally, meaning that when I kind of just the, the curtain of depression descends and I'm behind it and um, my husband's like, hello, <laughs> I don't know how to talk to you. Um, or I'm super anxious and I'm like not at all in a rational mind and he's like, hello, can I talk to you? And he really can't find me in there um, and it's really unnerving for him. Right, honey? Not at all. That's exactly right. <laughs> Not at all. Um, it's, it's really like a game of emotional Where's Waldo? It's seek and find, right? Um, and that's what this song's about. <laughs> Get it, honey, because I'm just as beautiful, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so this is um, that same song done a different way, <laughs> <laughs> called a different name in a different key. Um, it's called Other Shoe. Um, and so what happens when um, you've gone through complex trauma, I'll put my therapist hat on for a second, 
complex trauma is different than one-time trauma. Um, it, it's sort of this um, oh, lovely snowball effect of lots of crappy experiences over a long period of time that sort of um, prime your nervous system to be extra hypervigilant to things and um, to always expect the worst. <laughs> and uh, that's what other shoe means, right? Like, oh God, like it's going well now, when is the other shoe gonna drop? Um, and Brene Brown calls it foreboding joy. Um, and I am often in that state. Um, it's better now, but um, this is a song about that, right? When, when I just, um, and I'll ask my husband this sometimes too, it's like, whoa, like when's this happiness gonna stop? Because I know it's going to. Like, can somebody just like give me a date so I can prepare for it then? and hunker down, and that's never how it happens. It's always just like, ah, surprise! <laughs> Life sucks all of a sudden for a while. Um, and so then I had this weird imagery in my mind about um, what if like, we lived in the 1880s and um, I couldn't go to like outpatient therapy, but I was like put in an insane asylum <laughs> for like melancholia, uh, right? For like women back then, right? And like, what would they have told my children, right? Like what would my, maybe my husband, my 1880s husband or whatever, um, or my, um, or like the social worker or something, I don't know, like what would people say? What would the neighbors try to tell my children about like where I was? The fairies took your mother but she'll be back soon, right? Just like a little like fairy tale explanation for that. Um, and I think we sometimes still do that. Um, and I know I sometimes even do that with my kids. They're not here tonight, because like I don't need them to get the full enchilada of things that I share. Um, but um, I think that we sometimes just really shut down when we're around our kids because we want to protect them. Um, but then they don't get to, uh, to see us human. And so like, how can we find that balance a little bit more? And I'm still figuring that out. Um, but this, is, this song is just about like, um, it's me singing to my hubby. Uh, and uh, that they'll say, the fairies took your mother, they'll say, but she'll be back soon is sort of just, I don't know, this peanut gallery of whoever the, the people are, the, their explanation. <laughs> My husband, when I played the, the new song that I just released today that I'll play at the very end tonight, um, he goes, I really like that. I like that better than the goblins took your mother song. <laughs> I was like, I'm singing the goblin song though, honey. And he's like, no, it's okay. But I just like the other one better because it's happier. So here's, here's other shoe, parentheses, the goblin song. <laughs> when will the other shoe drop? When will the sunny day stop and the rain fall down? When will I turn away from you like you know that I will? And will the sight of my child be enough to break the spell I'm under? The fairies took your mother, they'll say, but she'll be back soon. How long will you wait for me? Is it until infinity and a lifetime? I ask because I don't know how long I will have to go until I feel fine. And will the sight of my child be bright enough to break the spell I'm under? The fairies took your mother, they'll say, but she'll be back soon. And in Wonderland I'll sit and wait Just a fairy tailing world away But I promise I won't stay long Just give me some time alone When will the other shoe drop? When will the happiness stop? And the clouds roll in When will it take my heart from you? like I know it's bound to do. And will the smile of my child be wide enough to break this curse I'm under? The fairies took your mother, they'll say, but 
Kurt did a beautiful arrangement of that on um, Driftwood EP, so go stream that version. It's really pretty. Thanks, Kurt. And Kurt didn't like the chords I did in the one part, so he fixed them, so it's better, I think. <laughs> you did it, but I, I play what I have. Um, all right, so uh, this, okay, so now we're, we just had the eclipse, right? So it's just like, sunshine, sunshine, oh no, right? This like dark thing is coming over. So don't worry, the sun will come back and like, we'll like, I'll like bring you back up. Um, but this will be sort of the, the last song of the, um, what did I call it, Dark Night of the Soul era. Um, and I haven't played this song out either, um, but I just felt like it, it was time to, to do that. Um, this is a song that um, I, since I'm a therapist, I always want to be like trigger warning <laughs> um, to just to make sure everyone feels psychologically safe still. Um, but this is a song about grief. Um, this is a song that I wrote about the last hours with my dad. Um, he was in hospice in, at Riverside, and um, by that time he wasn't really responsive, but I felt like I was just being, being with him and singing to him, like got through some level of something. I just was convinced it had to. Um, and it was really important for me that even though we had a really complicated relationship and towards the end it was like, um, I didn't want to regret anything and I really just wanted to let him know that I was there. Um, and so this song is just for anybody who's lost somebody and you know, either got to be with them or didn't get to be with them at the twilight of their life. Um, so I honor all of them and my dad as well. In the twilight of your life, when the sky is close to dark, I will hold your hand and sing So you know you'll have my heart In the quiet of that room With a single light above I will whisper peaceful Full of comfort, full of love. I will lay my body close to yours so that I can feel you breathe. And I'll beg for twilight not to end so that you don't have to leave. When the night sky wins the war And the light fades from your face And I know you are no more In your pain or in this place I will slowly open up that door And I'll walk my body And I'll turn around for one last look And I always will love you Thank you. So we're all going to take an emotional pause, and we're going to do another sound bath um, to let all that percolate and settle. And if that means that you need to just 
tuck all that back down. <laughs> it's totally fine. Um, that's what I love, too, about sound baths, is it's just really self-compassionate. Because you just, you can just be. You can just be however you are and however you need to be. And if you need to be with that grief or with that pain, um, and if it feels like it's okay to kind of let it breathe a little bit, you can do that too. But there is absolutely no right way to process your feelings or be with everything. Um, but I want to offer a few more minutes to allow you to be whatever um, you need that experience to be like. Um, in this sound bath, don't be alarmed, you'll hear a gong and a chime as well. It's not like a crazy big gong, it's just that little one over there. Um, and then you'll know it's the ending of the sound bath um, when you hear that same high C tone that I played um, at the end of the last one. And then I just have a couple more songs for you.
Hello again. Oh, this is another vocab word I like to use. The penultimate song I'll be singing, that means next to last, is called Driftwood. And ah, I'll get to use the other one too. It's the titular song on the EP Driftwood. Um, I didn't even plan for how witty I'd be tonight. I didn't even plan for it. Um, surprising myself. So um, this song, I thought it would be a good one to play after I bummed you all out because it's a song about equanimity um, and it's a Buddhist term uh, meaning mental calmness in the face of challenging circumstances or really any circumstances. Um, the, the sort of 10,000 joys and 10,000 sorrows that we encounter inevitably in our life. Um, and John Kabat-Zinn, who um, is a um, physician, but he studied in the East in like the, um, the hippie era in the 60s and brought back a lot of the Eastern traditions and Buddhism, but wanted to like make it more palatable for Westerners. So he, he um, called it mindfulness-based stress reduction, um, but it's really just like meditation and mindfulness. Um, but he talked about how we cannot um, stop the waves of our life, right? But we can learn how to surf. And that is a tricky skill set, <laughs> um, but we can. And um, that's what I've been working on. Uh, I, know there, I know I'm not alone. So this is just a song about um, even when we feel like a piece of wood drifting along the giant ocean of life, being sort of tossed around, not really knowing where we've come from, um, there's still hope for us, um, and life is just like that sometimes. So this is called Driftwood. Living as driftwood does not always feel good. Floating on top of the waves. Traveling far but not knowing if you are a part of something bigger. Like a ship somewhere on the sea. Oh. Edges are smoothing and I'm always moving I take these facts as good signs Cause if I were stable I wouldn't be able to see The world outside of me I would just stare out longingly Oh so I'll get by as I ride the tide. No reason why it has to feel fine always. I've got time and space is wide. And I will find my way someday. Someday. Horizon by day and Orion at night, I see constellations appear. They tell the stories of glorious warriors here. And they give me strength to calm my fear. Oh. And when I need the northern star, I need not look very far. She is shining down on me. So I'll get by as I ride the tide. No reason why it has to feel fine always. I've got time and space. Living 
is driftwood does not always feel good floating on top of the waves but thanks to the stars i remember that i am a part of something All right, this is the last song of the evening, and this is a brand new song. I released it today, so I'm so excited. Yay! Yay, so um, I timed it that way. Um, I was like, Kurt, we gotta do it within this window of time so we can like, have it today, because um, it is a celebration song. Um, it's a celebration of <laughs> all the hard work I've been doing in therapy. Um, <laughs> and it's a celebration of our ongoing healing journeys that we are ever evolving in. And no matter what you're healing from, we're all on that journey together. Um, and so I just wanted to sing um, a song about that like how far we've come this because not a lot of times do we give ourselves credit. Um, and I think this mantra that appears in the chorus, um, I have a feeling that I am healing. Um, it's just what I want to leave you with tonight. And so um, some of you are like semi-professional singers and those of you who aren't, it's okay because we have semi-professional singers in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I would love for you to sing the chorus with me, um, and then we'll, we'll change it up a little bit at the end. But um, I'll play it for you uh, a couple times, and then we'll sing it together, um, and we'll go from there. I have a feeling that I'm healing. I have a feeling that I'm healing. That's it. That's all it is. I'm going to do it one more time and we're gonna do it together. I have a feeling that I'm healing. I have a feeling that I am healing. All right, ready? I hear, we go. I have a feeling that I'm healing. I have a feeling that I am healing. And if you're super fancy, you can do harmonies. I won't, I won't be mad at you. <laughs> All right, so when it's time for it, I'll try to be like, Hoo, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. I've been turning a corner and turning my face to the light. I've been slowly making my way through my soul's darkest night. I've been listening to my intuition as a guide and I'm starting not to feel so all alone inside. I'm starting not to feel so all alone inside. I've been taking my medication and doing therapy. I've been trying to sort out what is trauma from what's truly me. I've been trying to do more of what makes me smile each day, like this. And I'm striking a better balance between work and play. I'm striking a better balance between work and play. I have a feeling that I am healing. I have a feeling that I'm healing. I've been working on pausing first instead of just reacting. Delayed gratification, not instant satisfaction. I've been offering forgiveness, not holding it back. And I'm seeing the shades of gray instead of only white and black. I'm seeing the shades of gray instead of only white and black. I have a feeling that I am healing. I have a feeling that I am healing. I know this journey doesn't happen in a straight line. 
The same old lessons come for me again and again. But maybe they're happening at the right time. And maybe that's finally fine with me. I've been turning a corner and turning my face to the light. I've been slowly making my way through my soul's darkest night. I've been nourishing my heart by doing joyful things. And I'm thankful to be living, so with gratitude I sing. I'm thankful to be living, so with gratitude I sing. I have a feeling that I'm healing. I have a feeling that I'm healing again. I have a feeling that I'm healing. I have a feeling that I'm healing. Okay, now it's gonna get a little uncomfortable for introverts. That's okay, hanging with me. So now we're gonna change it and we're gonna say, I have a feeling that you are healing. And I want you to just look around at the people around you. You may not know them. You may not know them. You may know them. You may like, I have a feeling you're healing because I've been with you every single day and I know you're working hard. You're a hot mess sometimes, but I know you're working on it. <laughs> and for those of you um, who don't know other people, like just know they're healing too. I have a feeling, all right? So I have a feeling that you are healing. Let's go. I have a feeling that you are healing. I have a feeling that you are healing. One more time. I have a feeling that you are healing. I have a feeling that you are healing. All right, and finally, for those who can and want to stand, let's all stand. And we're going to just sing one more time. I have a feeling that we are healing. You can get kumbaya and hold someone's hand if you want to. I'm not going to get mad at you. This is safe space to get cheesy. But um, let's do that because we are stronger in community. And uh, this is how I wanted to end it. So let's do it. I have a feeling that we are healing. 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 One more time. I have a feeling that we are healing. I have a feeling that we are healing. Thank you. <laughs> and I gave myself a standing ovation. That's how it's done. <laughs> Thanks, friends. Thank you, guys. I will be out greeting my adoring public at the table out there. Um, so please come say hello. Thanks so much for being here. <laughs>